Hello friends, welcome to our class Math Essential for Machine Learning and today we are just going to take an extra class on maximum likelihood estimation. A uh, few people have uh, wrote to me last time and said that can we have one more example uh, to understand the concept of uh, maximum likelihood uh, estimation uh, and, and it's quite obvious that you know this concept does take some time to you know understand and it actually took me also few extra hours to actually go over it and understand it so in order to uh, you know understand the, what is meant by uh, maximum likelihood estimation uh, i will take a simple example and what i would request you is for the time forget anything i have spoken about maximum likelihood take do a fresh start here okay so let's say i have a school okay i have a school one and there are say uh, 50 male and 50 female in that school okay so what will be the probability of uh, you know picking a male from that school it will be p of m say for example for male then it is nothing but 50 over 100 right which is half okay say I have another school school 2 and there I have say 70 male okay I'll just choose a darker color okay there are 70 male and say 130 female okay in that school also what will be the probability of uh, picking a male is 70 over 200 right which is 7 over 20 okay so another school so these are different schools I'm just uh, taking for reference okay and say in school 3 I have 180 male and about say 120 female so if you see the ratio of male and female in different schools are different which is in real life the case right so the probability of getting a male from that uh, school would be 180 over 300 okay all right so uh, fair enough so these are the three different schools and uh, okay I have some probability of picking a male but then how does it relate to my uh, concept of MLE so which we'll so, uh, see soon so let me clear my screen okay so from school one the probability of getting a male is uh, around half right and from school two the probability of getting a, a male student or whatever uh, it is 7 over 20 right and from school 3 it is equal to uh, that was 180 by 300 so it will be around 3 over 5 okay just refer to the data that we just saw okay so we have three different schools now for example somebody tells me that here is a sample of uh, students so we have say three male students okay and two female students okay so if somebody gives me this pattern of data all right and asks me from which school did we get this combination which school has the most likelihood that I could get three male students and two female students so is it from school one does school one has the highest likelihood that I will pick these three uh, male students and two female students or is it school two or is it school three from where I will get the uh, maximum chance or likelihood to get my values okay cool so how do we calculate this so from our independence theory we came to know that you know this event uh, this uh, picking a male uh, student is independent of this one is independent of this one is independent of this one and it is independent of this one right so from that concept what we can say is uh, you know probability of picking the first male student multiplied by that is the joint probability 
probability of male, probability of male, and probability of picking a female student, and probability of picking a female student. Okay, fair enough. Clear so far, I guess, right? Very simple, very straightforward. So I can simplify this and uh, you know, uh, how can I write it is, sorry. <laughs> how can I write this is probability of getting a male student whole Q because it is multiplied three times and probability of getting a female student is multiplied by two times, so it is squared. So this I can also write as, for simplification, I will just replace this PM with P. So it is PQ. And probability of female is nothing but 1 minus probability of picking a male student, right? Because they both have to be equal to 1. So if I have P, then the remaining will be 1 minus P. So that means this is my equation of picking. Uh, the Provided I know what P is, I can say from which school they belong to, right? So let's look into, uh, let's plug this, some values to this equation. So I have p3 times 1 minus p square okay so for school 1 what I can do is I can plug the values and calculate this uh, expression here so for school 1 I know that uh, my probability of getting a male student is half q and the second one is also half to the power square and if I calculate this I will get uh, if you can multiply all this and you will get something 0, 3, 1, 2, 5. Perfect. For school 2, I can do same calculations and I can say half. Oh, in this case, uh, it cannot be half because the probability of picking a male uh, student from school 2 is 7 over 20, right? So it is 7 over 20 whole cube times 13 over 20 whole square okay and if you calculate this it comes around point zero one eight one one okay and if I do the same calculations for school 3 what I will get is the probability of picking a male child from school 3 uh, is about 3 by 5 whole cube into 2 by 5 whole square which is equal to point point zero three four I have done this calculation ahead of time just to save uh, some time here. So what we saw is if somebody asks me that what is the likelihood of picking three male student and two female student, then I can say the probability of doing this from different schools are these values. And from this I see that this value here is the maximum. So that means my likelihood of picking three male students and two female students is from school three because the probability of that is being the largest and this is all about maximum likelihood estimation that means given a certain distribution of data in this case 3m and 2f what is the chance or what is the likelihood that either i got it from distribution from school one or distribution in school two or distribution in school 3 so that is how it is in a, in a fancier term we call it distributions right? but what basically it means is from which collection am I getting this combination all right so does it make sense now that what we are trying to get here is the maximum probability or maximum likelihood from where I from which school I'm going to get this combination of students all right now this is what we have done by hand right so can we devise a simple technique right so that uh, mathematical technique so that i can also implement this you know in a computer or somewhere else so if i start with the same equation p3 and that is where we call the concept of maximizing right how do we get a value 
so that this expression will get the highest value as we saw right now we had different values of p right for school one the p was is equal to you know half for school two the p is is equal to uh, 7 over 20 p is nothing but the probability of getting a male student and school 3 the probability of getting a male student is 3 over 5 right so these were the three values we saw and we plugged it and then manually we calculated each and every of them and we figured it out now there is a also a better and simpler technique and that is where we use the concept of uh, first derivative right so if i have this p3 1 minus p square and if i take a first derivative and equate that to zero so that means if i say first derivative with respect to my probability if it is equal to zero then what i can get is as i was telling you people who are already familiar with uh, partial derivative can go ahead and you know solve this um, very straightforward equation so the first one will be p oops, okay okay so the first one is p sorry p cube and 2 times of 1 minus p and because this will give you a negative term okay plus you can have 1 minus p whole square 3 times of p square equal to 0 and this is nothing but if I arrange the terms um, you know and you can quickly do this uh, instead of me writing each and every step if I quickly arrange this term what I will get is basically 1 minus p I can take as common okay I can also take p square as a common term and I can write this as 3 minus 5p equal to 0 okay so uh, let me clear this and write, start with the final equation again okay so what I got is 1 minus p p square and 3 minus 5p equal to 0 so now we already know that p cannot this cannot be 0 then if it is 0 then p will become 1 that means I am only picking male child or male student but that is not the case because we saw that we have also picked female students right so this cannot be correct p square is equal to 0 the second factor again this cannot be 0 because we saw that uh, we have some male uh, students in the list right so it cannot be 0 so the only factor that I am left with is 3 minus 5p is equal to 0 and this gives me p is equal to 3 over 5 which is exactly the same value that I got by you know plugging each and every value in that equation and getting it so this is getting you know a quicker way to get to the my maximum value and that is what is meant by maximizing that expression what we had was p cube times 1p that's why we take the first derivative right and because it helps us in quickly getting to this solution instead of plugging one value at a time and going on so i hope this gives you a clear picture about uh, you know what is meant by maximum likelihood estimation and why do we use calculus in this case uh, for you know uh, solving this kind of problem now in summary why do we use calculus on a, on a very general basis is because so we use probability theory to create the model okay probability theory plus we do some such optimization using calculus optimization okay and zation and that is equivalent to in we'll see as we'll see this is what is meant by learning or machine learning okay so i hope you have learned something new today so please practice couple of more examples using mle and that will give you a clear idea and you know this will be retained in your <laughs> mind all the time so okay till then have a great day and i will bring you more interesting topic in our future videos